guys welcome back so today we are working on cleaning this place up a little bit and the noise behind me is hunter over there oh. there are the dogs you see that uh buzzard up in that tree they're not a fan of the buzzard so they like to stand at the bottom of the tree and bark at the buzzard even though the buzzard really doesn't care because it's up in a tree so that's a daily occurrence here. Anyway, help, here they come. Did you get him? Yeah, you got him. Anyway, so Hunter's pulling up these stumps. We're trying to get this yard looking a little better. So the big trees that we had cleared out, they left these stumps behind. So working on clearing those out today. We are lucky enough to get to borrow this machinery to do that. And something else exciting around here, besides clearing stumps, is we finally got the parts to fix this big bus. So we needed an oil cooler, we needed new mirrors, and let me see if it's over here. We needed new doors for the side. So all that's left to do is install all these new parts on this bus, give her a nice pressure wash, and she'll be ready for her new owner. And you guys may have noticed when I was talking about the buzzard and the dogs, uh, we have a garden back here that we planted, so I'll show that to you. Just got all these projects going on. We figured, you know, while we're home for a while, why don't we just plant a garden? So we've got some tomatoes growing. You can see we've got some little strawberries starting to grow. Hey, baby. Hey, little baby. Watch out for the plants. Oh, you stepped right on a cucumber. Come on, Summit. That's why we have the fence up. You would think we have the fence up to keep animals out, but really the only animals we're trying to keep out are these crazy doggies. They're not used to not being allowed to step on any plants, so they kept stepping on everything in the garden without really realizing they were doing anything wrong. So we put up the fence just for them, and we actually haven't had any problems with squirrels or deer or uh, bunny rabbits or anything. It's like the animals just know that the dogs are here. I mean, you can hear them barking. <laughs> they know the dogs are here and they stay in the neighbor's yards and we can see them from there, but they don't come over here. Cannon just can't leave that buzzard alone. Poor buzzard. Poor buzzard, Summit. Hey, good helper. helping. Yeah, you gonna dig it up, Candy Boy? Wow, look at that, that's crazy. That's good. You guys can hear what Hunter just said. He said dirt is the worst thing for a chainsaw blade.
we've been doing all this work, it gets super, super, super hot out in the summer here in Southern Maryland. It's just really humid. So the doggies have found the perfect lair under this old corn shed. Canyon has dug a hole and it's shaded and the dirt is, dirt is nice and cool. So they found the perfect lair to hang out in while we work. And then when the sun starts to go down, they come out. So now that we checked a big job off the list, we are headed to West Virginia to visit some family. But we're gonna make it into a little weekend vacation and we're gonna cross another national park off the list. Another one. Good morning. So last night we spent the night at a free camp spot right next to Somerville Lake. And I had a really nice walk this morning. It's really beautiful here. Everything's so green, especially after all our time in the desert. It just makes you appreciate the green trees. So I'm cooking some breakfast right now and then we are going to go check out the lake. The Somerville Dam in West Virginia. We just left our boondocking spot, which was just about five minutes away from where we are now. And we have an awesome place to swim in the lake. See how the doggies enjoy it. I was lost in a city dream and I was at home again beside the stream then you walked past me and you saw me and smiled I will never forget the first time when I saw you I thought I lost my mind Blue and faded was blown away and left behind. I hope you'll always be around, even if I fail. You are like a summer breeze that I must inhale. Is it? 
impossible for us to feel this way forever. Loving you has never felt more right. You're about to witness the wet dog tradition to immediately mess up the bed right after getting in the bus. to say is thanks for watching please like and comment and subscribe and i'll see you next friday